Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This is Bill Acevedo with Dell OMNM Tech Talk, and today we are presenting event pre-processing rules for customizing alerts. Um, I'm going to show you an example of alarm suppression. This session will be recorded and distributed, and it should be about 10 to 15 minutes in length, and we will follow up with a Q&A session. If you have questions along the way, feel free to type them into the chat window and we'll review them at the end of the, end of the uh, session if we have time. Everyone will be on mute for the duration. Okay, let's get started. So there's a variety of events that can come in uh, from the devices that are, that are under management. And uh, an example I'm going to show you today is link down. It's a very common one, RFC 1213, and there's also another related link down um, trap that can come in. Um, and I'm going to show you an example on a Cisco device of traps that come in. And, and the example I'm going to show you here is uh, between the gigabit Ethernet port, and this is uh, 01, and this BRI22. And in our example, I'm going to show you the link downs that come in, what they look like. But in our example, we may have a use case where we care about link downs on the gigabit 01, but we don't care about um, the link downs on BRI22. And so we want to suppress those or somehow um, handle those so they aren't constantly alerting us and causing false alarms. So let me show you an example of how, um, what those link downs look like. And so I'm going to go to the alarms page here. And you'll see here I don't have any uh, link downs here, but what I'm going to do is go to the device. And I'm going to issue, on 01, I'm going to issue a shutdown command. That's going to basically prompt a link down. I'm going to do the same thing on the BRI22. I'm going to do a shutdown. Also, that should prompt a couple of link downs to come in. And uh, give me just a second here. So there, there's, uh, there we go. There's our. Um, let me refresh this again. So there's our link downs here. Um, we've got a couple of we're, we're kicked out on the gigabit Ethernet, one's a port and one's an interface. It doesn't matter here, but um, then there's, there's a BRI2. And so these are all considered alerts. They show up in the alert window. Now, what I'm going to do here next is I'm going to clear these, first of all, for our next test. I'm going to do that by doing a BRI2. I'm going to do no shut. That's going to bring it back up. I'm going to go to gigabit Ethernet 01. I'm also going to do a no shut. What that will do is actually clear these. Let's just make sure they do get cleared. Set the refresh rate. Everyone's going to refresh the screen. So you see they go away. They end up basically going down into event history down below here because they're no longer active alerts. They're now, they, were, they were correlated with a link up, so they go away. Um, so what I want to show you here is I, um, the case where I don't want the BRIs to, I, although the alerts may come in, I don't want them to come show up in the alert window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the event processing rules, and this is in alarms, definitions, and rules. And I'm going to create a new uh, definition, and rule, a definition and rule. It's called an EPR. I'm going to show you one I've already created, actually, and edit it. And uh, um, basically, I created a new one by saying pre-processing, and I went to suppress alarms. And so what I want to do is have, an, have a, a rule that's going to suppress the BRIs alarms. And so I just select that on the pre-processing side. You could also do reject if you wanted to, but in that case, they're not going to show up even in the event history. They're just going to completely be rejected before they even get um, logged. But, so in this case, we want to see them in the event history, but we don't want them to be alerted. So I created one called Suppress Alarm. So that's this one here. I'm going to edit it and show you that. And this just says Test EPR Suppress Some Link Downs. And uh, we're going to enable this alarm, this alarm. We're filtering. And so um, just for the sake of exercise, I included both link downs that are available in event definitions. And you can simply add these by going into the link, or this uh, filtering, typing link down. And they're not going to be here right now because I've already selected them, but um, you could pick any alarm you wanted to, and I've already selected the one down, so, I mean, so I'm not showing that. But you can suppress whatever you like here. And so these are my selections. And now uh, what I want to do is put some filter condi conditions in here to, to uh, constrain uh, what's going to show up here. And so my, in this case, I want to do any type of port. And so the alarm is a port level alarm, and the entity name and uh, let me just branch over here to this other screen here. I'm going to show you on ports here the, the, uh, the, the fields I'm selecting here. So I have entity name. Uh, we could also, if you have a description, you could filter on description. Seal 9 is, a name, is another one that I've added 
using the wrench icon and column I added to show that there was another field here you could also filter on. For the sake of my exercise, I'm just filtering on the name here. And of course, it is going to be a port type, but uh, we're going to filter on this name as our um, as our filter condition. So I'm saying entity name, that's what it's called here, does not contain gig. This means that any link down that comes in that has an entity name that does not contain the string gig is going to be suppressed. So let's go back and look at that again. So anything, even if it comes in from a DSP or a fast Ethernet, um, anything that's on here in this particular um, um, screen here, if it doesn't have the, the word GIG in it, it's going to get suppressed. This is going to apply to all your devices the way I have it set here. If you wanted to have a certain range of devices or IPs, you can always add that here. IP is, um, um, you know, you could say I only want to do this from specific IPs, but um, that's up to you to do. So right now we're going to say anything in the system that comes in a link down that does not have the word gig in it, we are going to suppress that. So I'm just going to save that. Then we're going to run our test again. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go back over here. Um, let's make sure they're active though first here. So I go over to my active alarms here. And I see that my BRI and my gigabit Ethernet 01 are active still. They're up. And so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to now we see the shutdown. Well, let's go look at the alarms to show you. There's no alarms in here right now. Back to my, back to my, uh, really an alarms panel here. Let's go back to my screen here. And I'm going to do a, on the zero 01, I'm in zero, interface zero 01, now I'm going to do a shut. I expect the link down to come in and show up in alerts because we said, look for this string gig. And allow it, allow it to, um, to go through. So shut. Then we're going to do the BRI. BRI22, and I'm going to say shut again. Okay. So, again, what we expect here is we expect the BRIs to not show up in the alert window, but we expect the gigabit Ethernet went down to show up in the alert window. So, let's just see that. And uh, just do a refresh on this one down here. Okay, so we do see what we were expecting here. We see my gigabit Ethernet are, were allowed into the alert window as a link down. And we see our BRIs did not show up in the alert window, but they did show up down here at the bottom. And it does show link down. And so these are basically being suppressed. They're not showing up as alerts. And so that, that, that proves out our rule. Our rule is working. And um, that's essentially how you do it to suppress an alarm. Give you very granular control over um, even specific alarm or event types, um, things that you want to see or don't want to see in the alert window. Again, there's other things you can do in here, um, just to rehash this a little bit. Um, Pre-process, you know, you can do the pre-processing rule of set. You can set the severity if you want to change the severity of an alarm that comes in. Uh, you can also a um, variety of other little things here, but um, basically suppress and reject the ones you would be interested in. And uh, get that filter conditions again, just so you can have another look at that and what we did. So if any type of port, you could also change this to an entity name contains. If you want to do, you know, if you only want it to, uh, to apply to gigabit Ethernet, um, um, you know, you could, or just BRI, could have put in contains BRI, then suppress it. That would have also had the same feature set as what we just saw. Okay, that's a quick run through on our event processing rules and alarm suppression and how to get granular control there. That's going to conclude the recorded session, and uh, then we'll proceed with the Q&A.